Hi everyone. Today we're doing a video on reading the fuel gauges and using the fuel gauge for trip planning. Specifically, this one's called Reading the Fuel Gauge Part 1. And here's the fuel gauge here that we have on the truck. And you see it's at half a tank on the fuel gauge. And um, it's by design. And I'm at the uh, receiver and I just got unloaded and I have a half a tank of fuel. Now, on the next pickup, if I was over 200 pounds on my steers and I had a full tank, that's 700 pounds that I could have applied to the weight on the steers. So that would uh, balance me out with a half tank as opposed to a full tank. But that's for a more advanced video and that's in the coming attractions video. For this video, we're going to study a little bit about reading the fuel gauge and doing some simpler calculations with a little quiz at the end. So here's your standard gauge. We have 100 gallon tanks, two of them, one on each side. So that's 200 gallons. A full tank weighs 1,400 pounds, half tank is going to weigh 700 pounds, and a quarter tank is going to weigh 350 pounds, and it's going to be 50 gallons. These are approximate weights. Now, if you see, this fuel gauge here is on 3 eighths, and not on a quarter, and it's not on a half, it's in between. So we have to get used to being a little more accurate with the fuel gauge and reading the weights and the fuel gauge in eighths. So here we have the fuel gauge converted to eighths, and one eighth is 25 gallons, a quarter or two eighths is 50 gallons, and so on. And you can see uh, the weights there with the eighths, and that's the fuel gauge. Pretty simple, right? Now you think you know everything about fueling and trip planning, but no, not quite. You just don't fill up the tank. Uh, a lot of times you only want to put in 50 gallons because you don't want to be more than half a tank at the final. So let's say you got... Uh, 350 miles to go to the final and uh, you know you're you're at a quarter tank you know you only want to fill up enough to get half a tank when you're uh, at the final so otherwise you might have a hard time scaling up so we're gonna have some simpler questions first because that's gonna be the subject of another video how to calculate your fuel at the end for a half a tank so you're not overweight when you pick up at the shipper and you can't scale up but for this video we have much easier questions for you. Starting with, if you add 50 gallons, where will the needle be? Okay, now we're adding 50 gallons to here, three eighths of a tank. So our answers are A, half a tank, B, five eighths of a tank, or C, seven eighths of a tank. Sounds simple, but if you're not familiar with it, you know, it takes a little getting used to. So. Put your answer in there. Question quiz two. How many eights will that be? Four eights, five eights, six eights. Okay, so far so good, right? Not any problems whatsoever, I'm sure. Number three, figuring at six miles per gallon for heavy loads or seven miles per gallon for lighter loads, how far will you be able to go with this tank of fuel after you've added the 50 gallons. Now remember, we've added 50 gallons to the fuel tank and it started at 3 eighths. I want to know how far we can go once we got it, that additional fuel put on. Is it A, 350 miles, B, 875 miles, or C, 1400 miles? And we're going to use approximately 7 miles per gallon for that calculation. We'll assume it's fairly light, 30,000 pounds, and I know that it makes a difference if you're going up and down hills and so forth. But we'll just figure on 7 miles per gallon for that one. That'll lead us into question 4. How much fuel weight will be added to the gross? Alright, and for that we're going to use 7 pounds to the gallon. And for some drivers who like to use different weights, that's fine, but we're going to use 7 pounds. And if you have any question about the weight of a gallon of diesel, feel free to get a gallon container and weigh a gallon. And if it weighs something other than 7 pounds, give me a haul or hit me up and let me know. All right, great. Now, so what's the fuel weight that's added to the gross? Okay, so we took this 3 eighths, we've added 50 gallons. So how much fuel weight did we add? A, 350 pounds, B, 875 pounds or C, 500 pounds. All right, now we're getting into some real trip planning here. And for trip planning, I like to use a series of things that I call quick calcs. And 
these quick calcs can always be adjusted. They can be rounded. Uh, they can be made to be more conservative. But this is just to give you an idea of some calculations that you can use to be really fast, really efficient. When the company throws you all kind of load assignments and they want you to make a decision in five or ten minutes, hey, do you want this load or not? And uh, you've got to decide. So this is the beginning of quick calcs for trip planning. And for this question, if you figure seven miles per gallon and seven pounds per gallon, how many pounds of fuel will you burn off per mile you drive? All right. So for every mile you drive, using this metric, seven miles per gallon, seven pounds per gallon, how many pounds of fuel will you burn off for every mile? Will you burn off one pound of fuel for every mile you drive? Seven pounds of fuel for every mile you drive? Or three and a half pounds of fuel for every mile you drive? And again, these are estimates. These are uh, approximations. You know, these are not exact. But one of these answers is clearly better than the rest. Okay, we'll give you one more uh, look at the uh, entire quiz. And coming attractions, we have... All kind of goodies coming up. <clears throat> We're going to have a video where how you can plan to arrive at your final with half a tank. Okay, and uh, another one would be shorthand writing out of directions. So using symbols and a methodology. So as fast as people talk, you can take down directions. We're also going to get into a video using uh, combining our macro 12 directions and macro 23 directions, combining those together, then converting them into your quick shorthand, posting them so you can read them quickly and safely and at a glance and uh, be able to make your turns coming up without having to take your eyes off the road for more than a second and able to read it at night if need be also. So those are some exciting videos we have coming up. The most exciting one, of course, being planning your trip so you have half a tank when you get to the final. Because what if I got a 46,000 pound load and I'm going to be over 200 on my steers? What am I going to do if uh, I had a full tank? I could have arrived with a half a tank and saved 700 pounds. Now, when you get really good, some of the owner operators, they like to plan their trip so they have a quarter tank. But using a half when you first start is a good idea. And uh, that also allows for some miscalculations and so forth. And it puts you like right in the middle of the dial. I go with a half a tank and uh, you can scale out 90% plus loads with a half a tank, even uh, the heavier loads. All right, this is Damien and we'll get to those later videos coming up. And especially the one for this, it'll be the answers for reading the fuel gauge part one. Just remember, this is part one. We start out with the basics and we build up from there. And until next time, we'll talk to you later and uh, be safe out there and enjoy the day and enjoy the springtime weather.